Welcome to this Ready to Craft. In this video, I will show you a simple and easy way to update shelving using ReadyBoard Foam Board. To begin, I have already measured the backs of the shelving that I want to redecorate. The foam board isn't quite wide enough, so I'm going to have to attach multiple pieces together. I'm using duct tape to hold the pieces together. We will be covering the panels in a later step, so I don't have to worry about how the tape looks. Take both sides of your seams to create a sturdy panel. Now that my piece is the correct width, I'm going to measure and cut to match my shelves. I have a reference drawing handy to keep me organized. I strayed a little bit off the ruler's edge on this cut. I'll just use a little tape to fix it. After you've gotten your panels cut out, test them on your shelves before moving on. I've got my batting laid out over my cutting mat. I'll apply a light layer of spray adhesive and then press the piece into the batting. I find that a roller cutter is the best option for cutting batting and fabric. I only want a small amount of batting on the sides of my panel, so I'm holding my ruler on its edge. steps for all your panel pieces. Get your fabric ready. Because I chose a fabric with a pattern, I have to pay extra attention to how the panels line up with the fabric.
My ruler is about an inch and a quarter wide. This happens to be a good amount of material to wrap around the edges and onto the back. I've already applied spray adhesive to this piece. I'll press it down and cut it out using my ruler as a guide. To finish my panels, I'm going to apply a line of white glue along the two longer edges. Then wrap the fabric around and use a staple to keep it in place. I'm not pulling too much on the fabric, just enough to keep it smooth. Then do the other sides. Here's a close up of how I folded the corners. Allow the glue to dry before installing your backings. This is a great option for adding color to a room because they're not permanent and easy to change out. If you try this craft out, we'd love to see it. Our social media links can be found in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If there's a foam board craft that you'd like to see a ready to craft of, let us know in the comments.